This is a tutorial on how to get the car exterior lights to come on by pressing the light button on the key card. So you will need an OBD reader, uh, mine's a Wi-Fi one and that's all you will need. Uh, you can use a Bluetooth one or a cabled one. Uh, first we need to keep the car ignition on which I will show you now. A uh, key card in the car, put your foot on the brake uh, put the car in drive, hold down the start button, and then it should say on the dash, um, remove key card. So, foot on the brake still. You put the car in park, let go of brake, and then the ignition will stay on like that. Okay, now that the ignition is staying on, I'm going to put the OBD reader into the slot which is in the middle there. Uh, there's only one red light showing, that's normal. I'm going to click Wi-Fi because I have a Wi-Fi reader one. I've clicked, I'm aware that I can harm my car and then going to click connected mode. Okay, so enlarge that, click the magnifying glass, click can. On the bottom left, there's a green bar that's going to load up to 100%. So pause the video, wait till that's um, 100%. And if you get any red writing, don't worry about that. That's normal. You might not get red writing, but it's, if you do, then just ignore it. First thing we want to click on is um, EMM underscore Edison underscore DTT 2000. Um, if it's SW... Uh, one four or one five i think it's fine i think if it if the number is sw four uh, lower than 14 then this might not work um that's what i kind of gathered from doing my research so we want to click it once and then the action box will have some options so we have to so yours will be at the top so we have to go down and find EMM underscore uh, lighting. So click the click on it. No, click on the arrow next to it. Sorry, the, and then EMM underscore lighting configuration. Once we uh, go into the lighting configuration screen, so you'll start up at the top, okay, and then we want to scroll all the way down. And we will have MBX underscore remote underscore lighting underscore CF. So if you follow that along with your mouse, if it's a zero, um, it'll be a zero on in both boxes. So what you do is you delete the one in backspace, type in one, and then you go click. So mine's already clicked. So you click the expert mode, it'll stay blue. And then you click the giant yellow box labeled send. So I'm going to click that and it's as easy as that. So if you click the green refresh button and if it stays as a one, then it's worked. And that's all you have to do. And then I'll demonstrate on how it should look. Uh, so I've you just once you've done that, just close down the software uh, you don't have to click save or anything. I'll take the OBD reader out. Take the key card. I'm now going to show you what it should look like if it did not. The RS model already does it. Uh, but I know some models don't. There we go. And I'll show you the back.